Hey everyone, welcome to Gentle PSD. I hope you're all having an amazing day. Today in this exciting tutorial we will be learning about how to create loading animation in Premiere Pro from scratch. Let's take a look at what we are going to create. That looks super awesome. This tutorial will have good insights and a lot of information about animating in Premiere Pro, so be sure to check it. Before we begin please make sure to hit the subscribe button and bell icon for more amazing tutorials like this. Without any further ado let's begin. Create new project. I will name it as load bar. Now go to this new items icon and select color mat. We will leave the color mat settings to default which is 25 frames and HD resolution. Click OK. I will change the color to white. Since we are going to use it as our background, I will name it as white BG. Now we have our white color mat in the project panel, drag it onto our sequence panel to create a new sequence. We now have our white layer. We will drag this to 10 second duration. We will now create our load bar. Go to File, New and select Legacy Title. I will name this as Load Outline. Now go to here and click on any one of the shape layer to create that load shape. I will use this rounded rectangle tool and make a shape like this. We will unselect the fill. Go to stroke and click on the outer stroke. I will change the color to black. Click OK. Click on this center align tool to place our load bar in the center. Once you done, click on this close icon. Drag the title from the project panel to our sequence panel. We will drag our load outline to 10 second duration. Hold out on your keyboard and drag this load outline layer above to make duplicate. Double click on the duplicated layer, go to stroke and unselect it. Click on the fill and change the color to orange. You can change the color you like, click OK. Now we have our load bar filled, click on this close icon. If I move our indicator, nothing happens. We will now start animating our loading effect. Go to Effects panel and type in Venetian Blinds. Drag the Venetian Blinds under the transition, onto our load bar. Go to Effects control panel, here we have our Venetian Blinds. If you increase the transition, you can see that it creates this blinds in between our load. You can adjust the transition as you like. You can change the direction to make it look more interesting. I will leave it to zero. Increase the width to create a big blinds. You can feather this to make it look blurrier. I will change the feather to two. Now again go to effects panel and type in crop. Take the crop and place it on our load bar layer. In the effects control panel click on the crop effect. Here you can see this outer line, drag this. Place it right where our loading bar ends. Take the indicator to the beginning. Keyframe the right. Place the indicator one frame before the end of the layer. Decrease the right until our load bar is filled. 
you can use this line to adjust it accurately. Our Premiere Pro will create a new keyframe automatically at this time because of the change in value. If I play it, and just like that, we now animated our loading effect. Now we will create and animate the percentage values. Click on this new item icon and select transparent video. Click OK. Drag this and place it on top of all layers. This layer is nothing but a vessel. We will use this as a platform to animate our number values. Go to effects panel and type in time code. Drag and place the time code on our transparent video layer. Go to effects control panel. In the time code effect, change the format to frames. In the time code source change it to generate. In the source track, select the track that have the load bar. For this tutorial our load bar is in V3, which is video 3. We will select the video 3. Uncheck the field symbol and change the opacity to 0%. Since our number is in white color same as our background, we will change it to black. In the effects panel type in color replace. Take the color replace and place it on to our top layer. Go to effects control panel. Since our number is in white color, in the color replace. Change the target color to white. As you see our number color changed to blue since our replace color is in blue. We will change the replace color to black. Here we have our numbers valued in frames. Take the indicator to where our value reach 101. Trim the layer to it. Now we have exact 100 on the number. Right click on the layer and select nest. I will name it as number, click OK. We want our value to change as per our time taken to load. To do that, go to this ripple edit tool and click on the rate stretch tool. Or you can press R on your keyboard. This tool will stretch the time to the length of the layer. Drag this layer all the way to the end. This will align our number change as per the amount of time loading takes. If I play it. That looks perfect. Use the position on the control panel to place it on top of our loading bar. That looks good. This time take the text tool and type in the percentage. Decrease its size and place it right next to our number. Place the layer on the start and drag it to the end. As you see our numbers are changing from 1 to 3 digit, and our percentage stays still. This makes our animation a little bland. We will animate our percentage. Make sure that the percentage layer is selected. Take the indicator to the beginning. In the effects control panel keyframe the position. Drag it near our number. Now take the indicator to where our number changes to double digit. Drag the position little further. And go to the 100 and again drag the percent position little to the right. If I play it. That looks perfect. Now our percent symbol follows our number while changing and it looks super good. We will now add and animate our loading text. Take the text tool. Make sure that no layers are selected. Type in loading. And three dots. Change the font you like. I will change the color to red. 
place it below our loading bar. Decrease its size. If I play it, nothing changes on our loading title. We will animate it to match our loading effect. Go to effects panel and type in strobe light. Drag and place the strobe light onto our loading title layer. In the effects control panel, change the strobe operator to make layer transparent. Before we play it we will add some more duration to our loading effect. Hide the loading text layer. Click on this camera icon to take a screenshot of our preview. Use the browse to change the location and save it. Take the screenshot and place it over here. Let's play it and see how it looks. That looks amazing. We now created that loading animation and it looks super good. We can replace the background with our video. Delete both the bottom layer. Take the stock video and place it at the bottom. Place the indicator one frame before the end. Hide the video layer. Drag this layer to the end of the video. Do the same to our load bar layer. For our number layer we will use the razor tool to cut it. Right click on the split layer and select, add frame hold on. This will make our layer like a screenshot. Drag it all the way to the end. Again we will drag our percent layer to the end. Leave the loading title layer as it is. Unhide the video layer. Let's play it one last time and see the magic. That looks super awesome. We now know how to create this amazing loading effect from scratch in Premiere Pro. I hope you learned something from this tutorial. I just want you to know that your support is what gives me the strength to keep making more tutorials. We are finally at the end of our tutorial. I hope you enjoyed this video. You can always download all my project files on Patreon. Link is in the description. I will keep posting more amazing tutorials like this, please look forward to it. If you have any doubt feel free to comment in the comment section. I will reply to it as soon as I can. Hit the subscribe button for more amazing tutorials like this. Hit the like button if you like this video. Until our next tutorial stay happy, thank you.